DHCP Surface Introduction to DHCP Configuring DHCP built-in surface in a router Outline Introduction to DHCP Surface DHCP Surface Operation On Scenario Number 2 Introduction to DHCP Surface DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol this surface automates the assignment of IV addresses, subnet masks, gateway, and other IP networking parameters. DHCP allows a host to obtain an IV address dynamically when it connects to the network. The DHCP server chooses an address from a configured range of addresses called a pool, and assigns, that means leases, the address to the host for a seed period. On larger networks, local networks, or where the user population changes frequently, DHCP is a preferred. Rather than have the network administrator assign IP addresses for each workstation, it is more efficient to have IP address assigned automatically using DHCP. DHCP distributed addresses are not permanently assigned to hosts, but are only leased for a period of time. Addresses no longer in use are automatically returned to the pool for reallocation. If the host is powered down or taken off the network, the address is returned to the pool for reuse. This is especially helpful with mobile users that come and go on the network. The DHCP server ensures that all IP addresses are unique. An IP address cannot be assigned to two different network devices simultaneously. DHCP can pose a security risk because any device connected to the network can receive an address. This risk makes physical security an important factor when determining whether to use dynamic or manual addressing. As the figure shows, various types of devices can be DHCP servers when running DHCP surface software. The DHCP server or most medium to large networks is usually a local dedicated PC-based server. Dynamic and static addressing both have their places in network designs. Many networks use both DHCP and static addressing. DHCP is used for general Purpose hosts such as end user devices and fixed addresses are used for network devices such as a gateways, switches, servers, and printers. DHCP Surface Operation The client broadcasts a DHCP discover packet to identify any available DHCP servers on the network. A DHCP server replies with a DHCP offer which is a lease offer message with an assigned IP address, subnet mask, DNS server and default gateway information as well as the duration of the lease. The client may receive multiple DHCP offer packets if there is more than one DHCP server on the local network so it must choose between them and broadcast a DHCP request packet that identifies the explicit server and lease offer that the client is accepting. Assuming that the IP address requested by the client or offered by the server is still valid. The server would return a DHCP ACK message that acknowledges to the client the lease is finalized. If the offer is no longer valid, perhaps due to a timeout or another client allocating the lease, then the selected server will respond with a DHCP NAC message negative acknowledgement. If a DHCP NAC message is returned, then the selection process must begin again with a new DHCP discover message being transmitted. Once the client has the lease, it must be renewed prior to the lease expiration through another DHCP request message. At the end, using DHCP enables network administrators to easily reconfigure client IV addresses without having to manually make changes to the client. Most internet providers use DHCP to allocate addresses to their customers, 
who do not require a static address. Scenario number two. In this scenario, I'll show you how to configure DHCP service on a router. Open the GNS3 program. Save the project. I'll name it scenario number two. Drag and drop four routers. Now, change the host name for the routers. The main router, Internet Service Provider in Erbil, provide Internet Service to Koya, ISP underscore Erbil. The second router, ISP in Koya, ISP underscore Koya. The main routers in Koya, Faculty of Engineering, AVNG1, and Presidency router. Now add Ethernet switch between the main router in Koya and its branches. Connect all the devices. Drag and drop two Ethernet switches, one for Faculty of Engineering and one for Presidency. Connect Faculty of Engineering 1 router to switch 2 and connect Presidency router to switch 3. Start all the devices. Show interface labels. Add description to the topology to make it more understandable. Now, ISP in Koya for the interface Fast Ethernet 00 configured dynamically to get an IP address from ISP in Erbil. And ISP in Koya interface Fast Ethernet 01 configured statically to use the network address for this interface to configure the ICP surface. Both routers, Faculty of Engineering and Presidency for the interface FAST Ethernet 00, configured dynamically to get an IP address from the ISP in Koya using the ACP surface. And also for the both routers, Presidency and Faculty of Engineering for the interface FAST Ethernet 01, configured statically to use the network address for this interface to configure DHCP service later on.
Now, configuring ISP in Koi, right click and select console. To configure the interfaces, you must change the mode to configuration mode by typing configure terminal. For simplicity, if you forgot the spell of the command, click on tab key. To understand all the parameters for this command, type question mark. So I'll be using terminal to configure the interfaces. I'm in the configuration mode. Look at the pointer. I want to configure interface fast Ethernet 01, so type interface fast Ethernet 01. I'll configure the interface statically, so I'll just type IP address with its subnet mask. Make sure the link is up by typing no shutdown. And now exit from the interface configuration. Configuring the DHCP surface. Type IP DHCP pool. I'll call this pool ISP underscore Koya. Type the network address for this pool with the subnet mask for this address. and configure the gateway, the default router for this pool. And also configure the DNS server for this pool. OK. I want to exclude range of IV addresses from the pool to not be used by typing IPDHCP excluded address. From 1 to 100. An exit, an exit. I'll configure presidency router, right click and select console. Navigate to configuration mode by typing configure terminal. I want to configure interface pass Ethernet 00 to get an IP address configuration dynamically from ISP in Koya. Uh, make sure the interface or the link is up by typing now shutdown. And type IP address DHCP. So, fast Ethernet is 00, 0 configured dynamically using DHCP and set to this address. Now, exit and configure the other interface, fast Ethernet is 01. I'll configure this interface statically. Type IV address. with the submit mask for this address. Make sure the link is up by typing now shutdown and exit from the interface configuration DHCP surface type IV DHCP pool I call it presidency type the network address for this pool with the submit mask for this address Configure the gateway or default router for this pool.
also configure the DNS server for this pool. Now, I want to exclude a range of IP addresses from this pool to not be used. By typing IPDSCP exclude excluded address from this address to this address. Now exit. Uh, I want to show the IP configuration for the interfaces by typing show IP interface brief. So fast internet is zero zero configured by DSCP and fast internet zero one configured manually. I'll configure Faculty of Engineering 1 router. Right click and select console. Navigate to configuration mode by typing configure terminal and configure the interface fast Ethernet 00. Don't forget to make the link up by typing no shutdown and then you can request IB from the DHCP server by typing IB address DHCP. So this is the IB that I get it from ISP Okoya. Exit. Now I will configure the interface fast Ethernet 01. By typing IB address, the address for this interface with its own subnet mask. Make sure the link is up by typing now shutdown and exit. Now configuring DSCP, IP DSCP pool, I'll call this pool Faculty of Engineering 1, uh, the network address for the pool. With the subnet mask for this address. And I'll configure the gateway or default router for this pool. And also I configure the DNS server. Now uh, I want to exclude a range of addresses that not to be used by this pool. Uh, by typing IP, IP DHCP excluded address from this address to this address. Now exit. And I want to show the IP configuration for the interfaces by typing show IP interface prev. As you can see, fast Ethernet 00, zero configured by DSCP and 01 configured manually. Exit. Adding a host to the network. Drag and drop cloud. Change the host name to an. And change the symbol to computer icon. Configure a host. Right click and configure. Go to NIO UTB to add interface between GNS3 and VPCS. Add. OK. Now connect N with the switch to of Faculty of Engineering 1 router. Go to Tools, VPCS. To get dynamically IV configuration from Faculty of Engineering router, type DHCP 
and look at the process. Discover, discover, offer, request, acknowledge. To show IP configuration details, just type show IP. Delete the link between AND and SWITCH2. Establish new connection between AND and SWITCH3 of Presidency Router. Go to Tools and VPCS. The same process type DHCP. Show IP. This is all about configuring DHCP in a simple scenario. See you in the next picture.